Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching TechBurner. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the new applications that have been around on the Play Store. Some of these applications have new features that coupled with new technology can give you some nice user experience. So we'll take a look at seven of these. So let's go. So some of you guys who have been following this channel might know that I prefer applications that are simple and functional and can be used in daily life. And this widget application fits the description perfectly. The name is another widget application and the name sounds super generic, but it is actually quite cool. If you guys have seen the widget on the Pixel 2 phones, it is very simple and minimalistic at the same time. And this widget is very similar to the Pixel 2 widget, but it offers a lot more features. It will give you the time, the date, the weather information, and also the events that you have planned and it does all of this in a very minimalistic fashion. I had to say this sentence four times. And because it is so simple but functional at the same time, it does not take up a lot of memory or even CPU usage. And you can also customize the text like the font or the text size or the background shadow. It is a very simple and functional widget that almost all of you guys can use. So make sure you give this one a try. When you guys normally search for an application on the Play Store, it will not show you all the beta applications or the applications that are in testing phases. And some of the most awesome applications are still in beta stages. They have some small bugs, but they offer great functionality and features. You can find out all these new apps using another app that is called Testing Catalog. It is a very simple app and it will give you a list of all the applications that are in beta stages or in testing phases. You can search for the applications from the search menu or you can try out the different categories. Almost all the applications are indexed into this app. So this small app will let you find a lot of new and exciting applications. And speaking of new and exciting apps, there is also an application that will let you download paid applications for free. And this is Paid Apps Gone Free. It has a catalog of all the applications that were previously paid but now are free. So you can try out this one as well and find some new paid apps that are now completely free. In the new Google event, Google showed off a new Pixel phone and they also showed a new camera called Google Clips. The most exciting feature of this camera is that it automatically starts recording as soon as it detects motion. This application will let you do the same thing and you can use it on almost any Android phone. Yes, this app will automatically start recording as soon as it sees motion. So you can set it up on a table or a stand and anytime you move something, it will automatically start recording. It is completely automatic and you don't need to do anything. You don't even need to press the shutter button even once. You can just set it up once and it will work for hours recording small small clips. I won't say the interface is really awesome but it is simple and it works. The next one on the list is Clockwise. It is a smart alarm application and I find this app quite interesting. It is quite different from all the alarm apps out there and it offers some fun features. When you set an alarm using this app, it will ask you to create modules. And in those modules, you can select the information that the app will read out as soon as the alarm goes off. You can use it to read news, your Reddit post, your Twitter post, and a lot more things. I personally use it to hear the social media notifications. If you select the last option on the list called Wise Wake, it will automatically wake you up if the weather conditions in your city are quite bad. And if you live in a city like Chennai where it rains a lot, this can be quite useful. You can also put your hand over the phone when it is ringing and it will automatically silence the alarm. It is quite a new and interesting approach towards an alarm. The next one is a game. Before trying out this game, I didn't even knew there were games like this. It is an AR game. AR is for augmented reality for some of you guys who might not know. And what that actually means is it will let you play games with all the real life objects. This is a 3D game that works on any real life surface. So you can literally play it on a table or on your mobile phone or on a piece of paper or any other surface that you have. The graphics are quite good and it is actually quite fun to play. So if you guys want me to make a separate video on cool VR applications, Applications, let me know in the comment section below and I might do it. The next app on the list is High Tech Launcher. And I like this launcher first of all because it looks quite cool. And second thing is it has all the information on just one screen. So you can practically access the time, the weather, the music player, all the applications and even some specifics like the mobile data, brightness and Bluetooth as well. If you swipe to the right, you'll have the app drawer that has all the apps and they're shown in quite a cool fashion. And the main selling point of this launcher would be that it looks quite cool and it has some cool animations as well. There is also one similar launcher called Jarvis Launcher and this one is also quite cool and has some nice sound effects as well. But I kind of like the look on the high tech launcher a bit better. So if you want to try out a new look on your phone, you can install these launchers. 
The next one is also a pretty simple application, but I like this one a lot. It can convert any image that you want into text. You can select any image that you want, or you can even take the photo with your camera and it will automatically convert the image into text using symbols or alphabets. Then you can copy the text and paste it on forums, on WhatsApp, on Facebook, or anywhere you want. You can change some settings as well, like the font size or the width of the characters. And you can also create a multicolor image with this. I've been using this app a lot and I find this quite cool. The last app on the list is Notification Log. This app is kind of like a bonus one. Sometimes you swipe all the notifications on your phone and then you figure out that you missed an important notification or sometimes you just accidentally do it. And many times I also swipe out important notifications accidentally. So this app is like a problem solver for those cases. This app will show you a log of all the previous notifications. So even if you have accidentally swiped any notification, you can go back to this app and you can see all the notifications that you have swiped. This was kind of a simple app and that was kind of it for this video guys. If you like this video, make sure subscribe to this channel because I keep making content like this and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.